Hello. How are you, lovelies? So, I pre-shuffled. This is a general reading. Take what resonates. Leave the rest. Excuse my hoarse voice, but I just was guided to do this reading. And I pulled seven cards. My favorite number. Three at the top, four at the bottom. And I have an overall energy. We'll start with that. This is the overall energy. Six of air. Clarity. And I'm reading from the book and guided by intuition. It says, clarity in essence is intelligence, insight, creative, vision, equanimity, inner balance, direct knowledge. Inner message of this card says, the more you know yourself, the clearer your insights into your relationships become. The more attention you pay to your own inner truth, the more loving your communication with others will be. Once you have stopped struggling with yourself, harmony and wisdom prevail. I don't know about y'all, but that spoke so much life to me just then because it's been a push and pull with folks. And that explains I'm working on me. Though. So yeah. Oh, I need some tea. Let's get the outward manifestation of the card, says. This is a great moment of to gain clarity about a problematic situation. Confidently express your preferences in an important matter without becoming manipulative. Conflicts will be resolved as long as you are willing to be alert enough to remain true to your heart by showing what values you Cherish in what is important to you. Others find the courage to admit their truth as well. That's for damn sure. Because if I say something the wrong way, it's going to be pointed out. And I've noticed a lot of times and I was talking to a coworker about this the other day. I noticed a lot of times that cer some people, certain people, when you respond nice to them, they don't budge. But when you respond in a different manner to where they don't agree, let's just say a more aggressive manner, you get their attention. So now I'm learning to have a, a balance there, knowing how to come off, what to say, when to say it, and how to say it. To be respectful of all parties involved. Because I'm not stepping, I'm not trying to step on nobody's toes or feet. I'm trying to step on nobody's head to get to the top. I heard some, uh, somebody said this. I don't know if I was reading a book or watching a video. Could have been watching something on TV and it was talking about women and they were saying you don't have to step on another woman's neck to to get ahead and that's what people in general not just women but I don't want to do that ever ever I don't want it to I don't want to come off as arrogant or inconsiderate I am here to be a help and not a hinder let me say that again I'm here to be a help and not a hinder I am here to serve I, therefore I'm a servant and I'm learning to lead by example how I want others to respond to me I'm gonna have to respond just that same way um, so there's not no conflict or confusion now mind you you can't please everybody, and everybody ain't going to like you, regardless of how sweet you are or how you come off. It's always something that they're going to find to nitpick at you, especially when you're trying to elevate on a spiritual journey and trying to be your best. Some folks, their negative, the negative entities ain't going to allow it, or they'll try to stop it. 
Now you're going you're gonna to be who you are regardless. And whatever is your mission and your purpose, as long as you're striving, you'll have conflicts along the way. That's a part of your growth and journey. But if you continue to strive, all that ain't going to hinder your growth. That's just going to help you grow. Depends on how you react to it. And so, just a little life lessons. You know what I'm saying? Grow as you go. If you're not learning and growing every day, something wrong. Something is wrong. So we can grow together. We can evolve together. All right. Let's continue on. I'm not reading any reversals. Let's see that. Ace of Fire. Ace of Fire. Let me find that card. And I love my fire signs. Especially those those lovely Sagittarius. Shout out to y'all, Sagittarius. I ain't going to go into the story of this beautiful Sagittarius that I got a heart for. But um, I ain't trying to leave y'all out Aries and Leos, you know. Something about them fire signs. Um, and all, all signs have different traits. But, uh, yeah. Thank you to each and every one of you. All right. So the Ace of Fire is power. And fire is very powerful. So in essence of this card, it says vitality, transformation, sustained courage, joyously forging ahead, and petty is to expand, strong self-confidence. It's confidence, but not arrogance. It's a difference. It's strong self-confidence. Because you can have low self-esteem or you can have high confidence. Either or. Or some people just go around arrogantly. But the having that confidence is going to entail in your whole character and in your appearance. It shows. It really does. This inner message says, These flames are sacred, not merely a sign of rising strength. They also hint at the possibility of a higher spiritual awakening. You now have access to an internal reservoir of sustained fiery power. Use it to expand your horizons. As you master the task that the new phase in your life brings, your consciousness will expand even further beyond anything you can now conceive. Ooh, I love that. Now the outward manifestation says, Forge ahead, full steam, and with great confidence. For the moment, nothing can stop you from manifesting your vision. You are riding a wave of fresh, enthusiastic energy. What you embark on now will be successful, be it a project or relationship. William Blake put it, William Blake says, energy is delight. A live a liveliness is sheer bliss. Just being awake of the life force within can make you ecstatic. In a state of exhaustion, nothing looked promising because there is no energy left to motivate and uplift. But charged with high energy, we become aware of natural bliss that is consistently and constantly filling us. Use this opportunity. Flow with this vibrant stream of newfound power. Mm. Just the term power. When I hear power, um, first of all, what comes to mind is uh, having a position of power. But when I hear power, I can also see egotistic, but having a balance, you know what I'm saying? And not letting that power run straight to your head. But knowing that level of what to give and and how when when to draw back, especially when you're confident and you have that energy, that life force to sustain you, all else it, it won't matter. The the negative entity it, that won't even affect you. It'll drop off like a little teardrop off your shoulder. 
because of your confidence, that high self-confidence. And that is needed in a position of power. And I heard the saying, uh, what's that saying? Um, I can't quote it verbatim, but it's just, it just saying is that what more uh, levels of blessings, you, you know, you more is at stake and more is to be expected of you. Um, and so another thing I think of in a position of power, I, I, when I hear power, I hear presidency. Pottis is the high man. You know, he, he, he's up there. He's he, right now, Joe Biden, he's in position of power right now and how he's operating. He's for the people. I don't know why that why that instant just came to me. But you have to know how to operate when in in a position of power. And I'm learning. I'm learning. But I ain't gonna get off track. We're gonna continue on. Cause we already in twelve going in twelve minutes. So I'm gonna go on to the next card. Father of water. I like that we have a different element. I'm a water sign. Ha. And as I was thinking, what we could be full of emotions now. I I operate a lot sometimes off emotion. I gotta sometimes pull that back because I'm an empath and I can feel other people's energy. And I can I, I read people a lot. And Sometimes I can't even make eye contact with people only because the sake of trying to maintain my energy. And if it's the wrong energy, I don't want to tap into that energy. So I'm learning balance. I feel this is very synchronicity right here. Father of water. Let's, let's see, Father, what you got to say. Father of water. That's that, that masculine energy. It says sensitivity. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Speak my language. Perceptiveness, psychic, receptivity, patience, which I'm learning, inner knowing, intuitive thought processes, artistic talent, sometimes fogginess in the face, the ungraspable. Mm-hmm. You, you, they talking about me for sure. Inner message of this card. It says... Follow your intuitive insightfulness. Heed its subtle intimations. Even if you can't put them into words. Yeah, I get tongue-tied a lot. Direct insight happens without words. It is a mistake to believe that only what is expressible can really be true. The truth exists beyond, ex all, beyond all expression. Bear with me, y'all. The mystery all around us is so ungraspable that our limited concepts can only point to it. Now trust your most delicate feelings. They speak to you more clearly than any words. Oh, I got to stop right there. Because not only is this speaking my language, it's telling me everything that I've been doing and what I need to do. Hmm. Sometimes I wonder, and I got to stay out of my head because I, I fluck up when I'm in my head. <laughs> Outward manifestation. Your nine judgmental perceptiveness makes others seek your advice. Don't be shy. Huh. Use this talent to enhance your environment or business. The desire to share your intuitive knowledge with others is a genuine desire to comfort and assist. <sighs> that that kind of that was depth right there. That was depth. Because I like I said in the beginning, I'm here to help. I'm here to be a help and not to be a hinder. And um I'ma just speak my truth and whoever watching. 
you know, you know, whether you receive it or not, but I, I'm going to use a past instance at work. And I find this guy, he really humble, very talented, very, very intelligent. Um, and I, I know when folks are genuine and when they putting on, and this was coming from a genuine place, but the energy to me was off, but my energy has been off. So I felt it was off. So he confronted me about a matter. And how it was handled, I just thought, hmm, kind of put me on the spot. And in a, in, in a situation I, I didn't like, I didn't accept it. So needless to say all that, it was just a little tension afterwards. And I don't like tension, especially in the work environment. I don't like tension at all. And I'm glad for people to call me out on my bluff. Every time, do it, because I'm not perfect. And nor will I ever be perfect, but I'm striving to perfect my journey, to, to get better, rather than say to perfect my journey, to, to be my higher self, to become better daily and to grow. And so, I appreciate everything that I encounter along the way. But this right here, just telling me that sensitivity and those emotions of that water sign. And then, as you say, water and fire. Water can put out a fire. But also water is, you know, it fluctuates. You know how them waves go up and down, up and down? It's the same. Same with emotions. And fire, all it takes is that right, that right spark for that, that fucking flyer to just go up in flames. So it was a trigger. And I have to learn how to approach things differently. And if folks come to me, and if it's high energy, it's because of the emotions involved and that it was been triggered. So we all work on each other and we're all growing and learning each other and trying to help each other expand. So namaste for that reason. And I bow to the highest form of everyone because we are all gods and goddesses. But we, again, we're going to stay on track. I just need to share as I go. So yes, let's go into the next card. Oh, we got another fire. I'm, I'm sorry, we have another father figure. So this is male energy here, but this is air, another air sign, father of air. So these fathers right on side each other, huh? Okay, all right. Let's see what you're talking about, these air signs. Uh, who is the air sign again? Air signs is Gemini. Gemini is an air sign. Libra is an air sign. Who I'm missing out? Aquarius. Aquarius is an air sign. And I love my air signs too. They got different traits. And this father of air says mental strength. Now all these cards coincide with each other. Mental strength. Intelligence, clear thinking, astuteness, focused, and focused attention, focused intention, intention, decisiveness, quick witted intellect, sometimes being caught up in the head. Mm. Tell me this not synchronicity here. You can't tell me this not synchronicity here. Inner message of this card says, trust your perceptiveness you know better than anyone what is right for you and what is not stop avoiding a matter that can be cleared up easily mm. with a few insightful words you have the mental and spiritual strength to make positive changes right now focus your mental powers on a merger with your heart 
focus your mental power on a merger with your heart. I ain't done yet. Mm -hmm. Then your heart will give your intellect two evenly balanced wings. You know, I got to stop just right there before I go to the outward manifestation. I was just talking about balance and mental strength. You got to have that balance. They have to be. It says to focus that. That way you'll have two evenly balanced wings. And when I hear hear that, two evenly balanced wings, I just hit, I just see an eagle. Is there an eagle on this card? But no, we got some feathers. No eagle on the card. I I I see an eagle, two evenly balanced wings, only because how eagles soar of the highest of all birds. And then I see a plane and then working at the airport. I see a plane, like for a plane, they got those evenly balanced wings. And when you are, when a ramp is putting bags under the plane, they have to be a balanced level. Um, so that mental strength is very important. Outward manifestation, it says, now use your intelligence to consciously pursue some genuinely fulfilling goals. You have the verbal skills and the mental sharpness to get what you want, but it is no longer enough to outwit others for your own gain. Oh, you hear that? I'm talking to myself. If I'm not getting it to you, I know I'm getting to myself. I'm gonna read that one again. It is no longer enough to outwit others for your own gain in that situation i was talking about that young man made it a point to stretch me having the position i have i'm using it to an advantage you know what i'm saying i'm as like you not using it in the right way and this card clarifies that again i'm not perfect but I need to hear this and see this. That way I know what to work on and how to address things. I'm a woman about mine and I'm going to acknowledge my faults. And I, I was at fault and he was right. And uh, we're going on. You are ready to employ your considerable mental prowess in a more conscious and respectful manner. Oh, I like that. You are ready to employ your considerable mental prowess in a more conscious and respectful manner. Respectful. Your passionate desire to do what is good and right for all will be gratefully acknowledged by those who grudgingly, grudgingly admire you. Oh, I don't know about grudgingly admiring me that's fine if you admire me but it ain't gotta hold no grudges about it you know what i'm saying anywho because this ain't just about me somebody else gonna gonna resonate with what i'm saying i just felt the need to record it so i know i need to hear this so i'm going back to that same situation because it i just i keep that all day I was, I was hearing what he was telling me and I felt some type of way. So anytime there's a trigger, there's something you got to work on, whatever it is. If you trigger someone or vice versa, someone triggers you, it's something that you have to work on. So in this situation, I triggered him one, and then I was triggered. I'm at fault here, because if I'm here to help and not hinder, and he came to me like that, this card tells me everything right here. All these cards, right, actually. But you're ready to employ your considerable mental prowess in a more conscious and respectful manner. 
disrespect was brought up. That term was brought up. And I was like, disrespect him. I ain't, I ain't here to disrespect nobody. So now I'm learning and understanding other folks and how to operate with people, different energies and, you know. So now I'm a, moving in a conscious and respectful manner for all parties involved. Understand? All right, let's go on. Oh, grandfather. It's a lot of male. This is a lot of uh, masculine energy. It's a lot of masculine energy. All right, I, I like it. I like what I'm, I'm seeing here. Number four. Grandfather is the number four in the deck. All right, all right. It's a uh, major arcana. It relates to the emperor. And emperor is an earth sign. Yeah, that's earth. Got the buffalo. All right. It says protection. Generous benefactor, ruling by serving. You hear that? Ruling by serving. I'm here to serve. Oh. Ooh, let, let's get it. <laughs> Position of responsibility, help in moments of need, wisdom, elevation, nobility, courage, authority, reliability. Inner message of this card says the power of the grandfather is always alive in us. As soon as you recollect tills parts of yourself, its qualities are yours. The grandfather may also represent the physical father you never had or who was never there for you. Generally, he stands for the ability to take matters into your own hands while granting your inner child the certainty that it will be protected and well taken care of. He represents the power of the grown man who has welcomed and integrated his feminine side. This makes him an inwardly complete unity. His intentions are no longer divided, so he can use his full authority for the benefit of beings everywhere. Respect for all parties involved. Outward manifestation says, drawing the grandfather to you signifies that it is time to stop hiding your inherent strengths. Reveal them for all the world to see. Respect your inner authority and exude it even at work. Hello, somebody. True responsibility is a respect. A true responsibility is a responsiveness to life. Do not hide from this. You have gathered enough experiences and realizations. Now use them for your benefit, that, that of everyone else. Okay, I said that wrong. Bear with me, y'all. Now use them for your benefit and that of everyone else. The ability to grant spiritual as well as material help and protection to others is a tremendous gift. Remember the generosity of the buffalo. He gives of himself. He continually is, continuously emanates his strength. Oh yeah, he's 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 powerful and he got a lot of strength. You must give away without hesitation. What the great spirit has bestowed on you and in its infinite generosity. Infinite generosity. That means never ending. Generosity. Okay. I feel, I feel that I am very generous, right? And sometimes that generosity is taken advantage of by certain people. But that's when I learn, that's when I learn balance and how much to give and who to give to. And when the time is right to give, right? Rather than give, 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 give. And I'm drained at the end of the day because everything I'm giving is not always giving back to me. 
You feel me? Um, whether it be love in a relationship, re any relationships, um, whether it be financial givings, whether charity or family, however I just, you know, decide to give, um, or just trying to help somebody in a time of their distress or need, you know, listening and being a, a ear, listening ear or trying to give advice. It's, it's about balance. It's about knowing how much to give. You can't give all of yourself all the time. Little increments, little pieces here and there. I've learned that, for, at least for me, somebody might could, somebody else may do that and be fine how how they do it. But I'm learning to do it in stride, like a little bit at a time. Uh uh. Mm mm. There's a few instances I didn't gave so much of myself. I I just come home drained and mentally distraught and all in my head and feeling regretful and sorry and, and depressed, whatever else that those lower vibrations. Not anymore. Mm -mm. Hell to the gnaw. And right, we moving on. All right, all right, cool. I love that card. I love that card. We got a few more to go. Ooh, okay. We got the doubt that came out. Huh? Three of air. Sure is a lot of air. I turned that air off, but there's a lot of air on this table. Huh? Did you see that air? No. All right, let me see. Three of air. Three of air. Mm -hmm. Who doubting? All right. I, I, I doubt. I be doubting sometimes. I don't know about y'all, but this card going to tell you exactly what this is. First damn word. In essence, anxiety. Yeah. Yeah. Uncertainty. Mm-hmm. Fear of loss, worry, confusion, regret, the sense of abandonment. Who? I got to stop right there. I got to stop right there only because... For the longest, I had a abandonment issues, and I took that in my relationships, and that didn't go well. Point blank, period. Okay. All right. Inner message, and here's why I'm single now. Doubt. Just because your thoughts insistently repeat an old, nattering worry program in your head, you need not to give up all hope. Give yourself the time to internally take a step away from these whirling thoughts. Then you will see for yourself. You will see for yourself how solidly real, hey to me, any thoughts can be solidly real. Once you recognize the nature of this thought program, you have removed yourself from it. The path to inner clarity, mm, is mental relaxation, also known as meditation. Oh, nam yo horengekyo. You know what? Just for that inner message, because it said the path to inner clarity is mental relaxation. That's the overall energy right here, clarity. Boom, right? And then we take this card, one, two, three, four. The fifth card come out, three of air, as doubt. But it's telling you about the path to inner clarity is mental relaxation. I'm already here with this overall energy. I done meditated for about three hours earlier on today. Meditation works. If you don't know, now you know. Try it out. Start with five minutes, then go on to 10 minutes. Just sit in silence. I struggle with anxiety a lot. Just anxious, anxious, anxious. This got to go, this got to go here, this got to go here, this got to get done. No. No, calm down. Relax. Breathe. Like my good friend. Can I shout out your name? I hope you're watching. Like my good friend Michael say, no more nasty, no more nasty, no more nasty. I love you, Michael. If you ever see this video, 
Um, because just being so anxious, you, you're just going to, things could go downhill. Just breathe. Breathe and relax. It's going to be okay. I'm rooting for you. I love you. You're more than enough. That relationship you want, that dream partner, you can get that. Don't doubt that that partner isn't for you. The partner is for you. Yes. Everything you ever want is for you. That house, that car, that dream job, that bank account, that goal, those goals you're trying to achieve, that family, that happy family lifestyle. Not having to worry about how bills are getting paid. It's for you. Don't doubt. Relax. Breathe. Come on, let's breathe together. We can breathe together. Three breaths in. All right? Just a little pause. Ready? Again. One more time. And on that last time, we're going to shake it off. Ready? Come on, shake it off, shake it off. Shake that doubt off. Shake those insecurities off. Shake that distrust off. Shake that uncertainty off. Shake that anxiety off. Shake that depression off. Shake that mental instability off. You got this. I am rooting for you. Challenge yourself. Get out your head. Don't be stuck or stagnant. Those stale thoughts, repetitive thoughts. Acknowledge, acknowledge them for what they are. And when they come, and then release. Breathe in and breathe out. Don't worry about any financial situations. Your health is good. Your finances is awesome. Great. Affirm these things. Knock that doubt out. It's all according to your perspective. You got everything on this table right here. The protection, the clarity, the inner knowing, the inner intuitiveness, the wisdom, the guidance. This right here is, is just confirmation to what you already know. Divination is confirmation. All right? All right? And that was only the dog on inner message. Let's go to the outward manifestation of this card. As long as you doubt yourself, it is a wiser, it is wiser to remain quiet. You hear that? All right, you're doubting yourself. Don't say nothing. Think about it. Go within. Because you're going to gain a lot of clarity going within. Instead of jumping on some new distraction, to however tempting it may look, just be quiet. Don't say nothing. Don't do nothing. Don't jump to the next. Especially if you're doubting yourself. Because it ain't going to work. And I'm coming from a relationship perspective. Knowing from experience. Mm -mm, that shit ain't gonna work. Throw that out. That doubt. Throw that out. Since the, feel, since the fearful mind just swings from one extreme to the other without even reaching a decision, you better wait for an answer from your heart. Train in the art of being patient. Hello to me. Oh, I've been praying. I've been praying. And the universe show you ways of how you can learn patience. That patience is needed. It ain't going to happen overnight. It might not happen in the time frame you want it to happen. But it's going to happen. Mm -hmm. As soon as a certain inner equilibrium has been reached and clarity returns, the new direction reveals itself to you. You got a new direction. I don't know why this song just popped up in my head. It's from Dream Girls. Step into the bad side. Ooh, ooh, ooh. Gonna take a mean ride. Ooh, ooh, ooh. Oh, um, wow. And then I hear, smile I had today. Those that messed up is gonna pay. Anywho, this song just popped up in the head, so I, I thought I'd share it. But about patience, I've been saving for a car. And things has been popping up gradually. 
So the money I've been putting on the side in my savings, like the dentist, for example, if you haven't been watching my videos, or if you have, you know, that I'm coming out of pocket paying on my dental work. And that's just, you know, a process and taken from my car. And so I have a goal. I have a goal when I want to buy my car. And um, I, that popped up in my head when I, I mentioned patience. So if you have a goal on buying a car or buying a house or buying, treating yourself to some shoes, a tattoo or whatever, an outfit, um, and something come about to where you have to use that money, it's all right. Be patient. You'll get it. You'll definitely get it. And speaking of tattoos, I've been wanting a same tattoo for about three months now. But things been coming up. It's okay. I'm going to get it. Anywho, let's not get all too off track. Ooh. Well, dang, where we going downhill from here? All right, you got to take the good with the ple the bad. It say depletion. And right now, I, I just had a, a pit in my stomach, like my intestines eating away at each other. I'm hungry now, but I got one more card and we're going to move on. Depletion. Hmm. What comes to mind when I hear depletion? Drained. Uh... No energy, tired, stressed, oppressed, depressed, repressed, suppressed. Huh? Right. Okay. So, this is seven of earth. All right. Them earth signs is something serious, y'all. Can't live with them. Can't live without them. Anywho. Yeah, I'm talking. Talking out my head. Anywho. We gonna stay focused. Depletion in, ex in essence of this card is exhaustion, speculation, setback, power dips, disappointments, doubts, fear of loss. Look, what I just had, doubt. Same thing as this card. That's why this card came right out. The cards don't lie. I just got chills. They don't lie. Okay, all right. Clear that energy real quick. All right, all right, we back. Doubt and fear of loss. And the inner message of this card says, <laughs> it says, expecting something increases our chances of being disappointed. You hit it on the nail. Hit it on the nail right in the forehead when you expect. When you expect, you set yourself up for disappointment because people don't always honor their word or live up to their, your expectations or how you, how you want them to respond or do. Mm. Yeah, this, this is definitely me. This is me. This is talking to me because... I'm going to go on to a situation. Well, let, me, let me finish reading this. Stay in this moment. Completely conscious in the present. And be very still. Give yourself a little more rest at this point. And don't project your negative thoughts into the future. Oh, I got two situations. One with a water sign. One with an earth sign. But because we're talking about the earth. This is the earth. Seven of earth. Depletion. Let me just tell you about the earth sign I dealt with, the last earth sign. It's funny. <laughs> I can laugh now because I was crying before. Anywho, depletion. Pro don't project your negative thoughts into the future. I did that. I did just that. Everything I thought, I doubted. And I projected those negative thoughts. It unfolded just as I thought it would. That earth sign isn't to blame. I thought of those thoughts. And as I thought of them, it happened just like that. <laughs> I 
how the mind works. What you thinking about? Huh? What you been thinking about? Is it good thoughts? Is it positive? Is it upbeat? Is it fulfilling your mission and your, your fulfilling your goals and your dreams? Are you optimistic and open-minded? Or are you doubtful and depleted? Huh? You projecting your negative thoughts into the future? Because they go on bold. Especially if you got that energy behind it. I have, I got good, I, I have good energy, but I also can have negative energy. So when I was thinking those negative thoughts, boom, it happened. And every time I was around that earth sign, I just felt anxious. Like my anxiety had heightened. Now I knew in the beginning that it wouldn't work. And of course I don't listen. I want to be hard-headed, not listening to my inner knowing. I knew it. I knew it from jump. And what happened? Just like I knew what happened, it happened. So why am I destroyed and depleted from it? Because I projected that into my reality. What are you projecting? Huh? Talk to me. Tell me about it. Because more than likely, I done experienced it. Mm -hmm. I'm here to help, not to hinder anyone. And I know everyone ain't for me. Now, on going about this water sign that I care about. It's an unlevel situation. It's uh, it's not a, it's not a give, give, give and take. It's half ass and half sighted. And I, I realized what it was, so I backed up from it because I was left depleted, having those expectation and that person not fulfilling that expectation, not for uh, being a person of their word, not doing as they would say rather than hearing all mouth, mouth, mouth. It's about action with me. You can tell me this and that. I believe I'll believe it when I see it. Anywho. This can be avoided. Outward manifestation says the fear of ending up as a nobody in the material world and therefore never getting enough paralyze your creative power right now. Excuse me. Don't waste whatever energy you have left on unimportant activities. Hmm. That little bit of spark of energy you have left, you better keep it and try to enhance more of your energy. The only hurts and the only hurts and distracts you further from your path. Let me read that again because that didn't even sound right. Come on, Jess. That only hurts and distracts your you further from your path. Depressive tendencies are strengthened by tightly holding on to your already stagnated energy. Depressive tendencies are strengthened by tightly holding on to your already stagnating energy. Fucking stale, stagnated energy, bro. Your most essential lesson now is to give. Give without expecting something in return. To get the life force moving again, be willing to let it go. Having to get by on less than full capacity sometimes can be very instructive. Learn to be happy with less. Learn to be happy with less. Your most essential lesson now is to give. Give without expecting something in return. Message. If that ain't ring, or you it wrong for me. It damn sure wrong for me. Because I just said that relationship, and that's a fellow water sign. And I I love the energy when we work well because we got the same energy. Fuck. Excuse me. Anywho. 
it's vibrant and fun and lively. And I love that. But the ability to give and not to expect something in return is what this card said right here. That's what it said in the book. Your most essential lesson now is to give. Give without expecting something in return. Expecting, right? Because I said it's half-sighted, right? Because I'm giving and that's not giving back in return. But don't don't expect something in return. Now, I have to address that a little more because not that I expect the same thing to be given, but I expect the person to hold their weight and to be you say something you say you're going to do something, do it. Do it. Don't tell me what you're going to do. Just do it. That way I'm not I'm not expecting. Now it says, don't even expect anything in return. All right. Like I said, I believe it when I see it. Hey, okay. We're going to move on because we about to. It's the longest video I ever made. Going into an hour. Hey. All right. Now we got a. All right. We got a, a feminine energy. Thank you. Mother of fire. Hello. Back to the water, uh, fire sign. We got all elements on the on the table. All the elements. Okay, I like that. Let's see, mama. What you talking about, ma? What you talking about? Trusting oneself. Okay. The last card. Number seven. My number, my lucky number. That's my lucky number. Pride, authority, strength, courage, certainty, power to compel and succeed, passion, sometimes arrogance. Ooh, sometimes arrogance. All right. Inner message says to grow into genuine maturity is a lifelong endeavor. It won't happen overnight. We must pass through many valleys and scale as many peaks. This card tells you to remember your inherent strength as you get ready to take your rightful place in life. This enables you to make decisions from a position of truly compelling authority. The outward manifestation says, your growing fell in your own path and personal development is now yielding rewards in many areas of your life. This inspires the people close to you to further develop their own trust in themselves by sharing your experiences and radiating your newly found trust in your abilities. You not only reward yourself, but others too. Thank you, mama. That was beautiful. So that last part of that card said, it said, by sharing your experiences, and radiating your newly found trust in your abilities, you not only reward yourself, but others too. Need I say again, I'm here to help and not hinder. I share these experiences because of I'm, I, I feel the need to share. We all go through something. Most times we all go through the same thing maybe different times or similar situations, just little different aspects about them. So I say all that to say this, mind your manners, use your intuitive insights, I'm just giving you confirmation what you already know and what you've been feeling. This was a beautiful spread. I acknowledge my hiccups and everything I need to grow and learn from. And we're going to move along and stride together. All right. I love you. And I thank you for listening. If you stayed the whole video, that's awesome. Um, 
I feel good. I feel better when I eat. We're going to close this out by doing a, a few breathing techniques. Ooh, that rhyme. Hey, Poetica. <laughs> Let's get it, baby. Nam yo ho ringe kyo. Nam yo ho ringe kyo. Nam yo ho ringe kyo. Thank you. Thank you so much. Namaste. Blessings, peace, and love to you. And with that, that chant is just pulling out your limitless courage, wisdom, and compassion for yourself and for others. So if you meditate, just you can chant that along in the meditation as well. Limitless courage for myself and for you all, everyone around. Thank you so much. I love you. Blessings.